we're very lucky in Australia in that we have very sophisticated research facilities and I'm hoping that we can capitalise on some of those facilities and begin to change the outcomes of people with this cancer. Um, really the outcomes for people with pancreas cancer have been poor uh, but we are seeing changes and there definitely is hope for people with pancreas cancer so I would like to see us build on some of those changes and the knowledge that we have developed here in Australia about this disease. Pancreas cancer occurs in a gland deep in the upper abdomen and in fact this has been one of the key uh, issues um, in, ha in hampering our research is that often people who have this cancer are completely unaware that it's there because you can't see it and you can't feel it and oftentimes uh, by the time ha people have symptoms it has spread outside of the gland and it then becomes incurable. And many of the cases that we see with early stage disease are actually diagnosed incidentally. In other words, the person is having tests for some other reason, maybe for gallstones or other things, and we find the pancreas cancer just by accident. And often those are the people who do the best. At the moment, there is really no screening test and there is no advice to screen on a population basis for this disease. We need really quite um, large and sophisticated programs that in Australia are possibly national programs uh, to find these rare subgroups and to match them with um, treatment trials using those uh, unique drugs. Pancreas cancer will become a big cause of cancer mortality. Uh, as other cancers have uh, the treatments for other cancers have improved, pancreas cancer is has become relatively much worse than other cancers. So I think this is a very important point to make, uh, that although pancreas cancer is not one of the commonest cancers, it's said to be, it's said to become one of the commonest causes of cancer death uh, by 2020. There is a lot of interest in creating clinical trials for pancreas cancer and really um, many of these trials I think will involve using some kind of targeted treatment uh, by looking for some of these rarer subgroups. So uh, we are very pleased to have run a pancreas cancer research workshop uh, at AGITG this year in 2016 and we had some wonderful young enthusiastic people presenting concepts for new studies in pancreas cancer. We have now seen clinical trials for second line treatment in pancreas cancer. This was unheard of 10 or 15 years ago because that, at that time it was thought that no people would ever have the opportunity to receive another line of treatment. Well, that idea is, has now been put to bed and we commonly uh, give patients with advanced pancreas cancer a second line of chemotherapy. And we're very pleased to see companies investing in trials of second line treatment and indeed third and beyond line treatments for people with pancreas cancer because there's a real clinical need there.